Hey everyone, this is Travis here from Maypower Power Design, and a few months ago I was sent a few spools of filament from Form Futura. They sent me a spool of HD glass uh, clear PETG filament. They sent me a couple other spools, but I'm mainly actually going to be focusing on the HD glass filament today. Out of the few spools that they sent me, um, this one appealed to me most. They asked me when I first got in contact with them which um, filament I would like to try out, and this was one of the ones I really wanted to try out because it's listed as being almost see-through, and I really wanted to test that out. Sometimes I use lights in my logos, and sometimes I want to be able to see through some filament in certain spots of things that I do. So I thought this would be a really cool filament to test out for that. I, I tested this in a more artistic manner than scientific manner. I wanted to see how things would look more than how they would hold up to breaking and other scientific type things that you do with filament testing. I more wanted, like I said, to see how the stuff would look more than anything. So um, I started out by just doing a quick thin wall kind of geometric sphere thing and it was just one wall. It came out pretty nice. Not quite see-through but you can see through it a little bit. Um, this was my first test that I did and I was just messing around with it. Next I uh, of course did an, an Ultimaker robot. This came out not too great. I mean it, it does have infill and from past experience most clear filaments that I've done if you don't do like a single or maybe a double wall you're not going to get that see-through effect. It's really hard to to get filament to have that see-through effect, any filament that I've ever tested. So with the Ultimaker robot, didn't turn out that great, but that's where I came into finding out something about this filament. Uh, when I printed this, uh, this was the first little vase that I printed. I was very, I was pretty unimpressed with this. I was like, this is not see-through, it's cloudy, it's, it's actually the layers are falling apart. And I was having a lot of issues and I was like, okay, this filament's not too great. <laughs> so I, I pushed on and I kept testing. This was a, a vase done in base mode in Simplify 3D. So it was just one continuous layer all the way up. So you should have been able to see through this. You should have been able to at least, you know, it should have been a better print than this. So what I found out when I was testing is that on the spool, it says uh, the temperature you should print at is 195C to 225C. I found that I ha actually had to push that up a lot higher to get uh, the results that I wanted. For instance, uh, with this, I just decided to go back to basics and I did a very tiny little um, spool and I bumped the temperature up to 255 degrees Celsius and that gave me that clear, nice, shiny look that I was looking for. This is where I was really getting excited about this filament. It's got a nice, awesome, shiny look to it and you can actually see through it. If I put my finger right up to it, you can see right through the filament, which I think is totally awesome. So I went ahead and I printed another one of these vases and I printed that at the higher temperature and this also came out really amazing. The, just the shine off of this stuff and the, the way that you can see right through it if you put your, your hands right up to the to the, to the walls, it's just, it's just amazing. I, I love the look of this and I, I could see doing a lot of different stuff with this material. Like I said, even putting lights in it, like let me show you this. Like I was saying, even putting lights in something like this makes it just look insanely awesome. But you can see through it. It's it's shiny. It's it's crazy looking. It just it just looks really nice. Um, my nephew uh, asked me to print him a chess set. Um, he's really into chess. I in fact know nothing about chess. I played chess like once in my life, and I have never really gotten into it. But after printing these out, uh, it makes me actually want to play. I printed another set, the other half in a wood fill filament, and it turned out awesome too. So. Um, I think this is going to be a really, really cool set, and I just, th th this is obviously not going for the see-through look, this is going more for the, like, the frosted glass or maybe ice look, but it just came out, like, the, the shininess and the, the way that these look just frosted is just, like, really, really cool looking. And again, this was at the, the higher temperature. Um, I could probably bump it down a little bit. I did get a little bit of um, little bit of stuff that I'm gonna have to clean up off the edges of these, but for the most part, the, the just just the look of this filament in general, printing at the higher temperature just looks amazing. And I think on the website it says that the HD stands for high durability. And like I said, I didn't. I'm not gonna try to test this stuff, but trying to break this stuff, even um, this this thin walled um, thing, is just like. 
I'm pushing really, really hard on you. And usually, like, I've done uh, single wall um, bases before, single wall rocket ships and stuff like that, and I've barely pushed it, and it just, like, completely cracks up. This stuff, I'm just mashing on, and it's not breaking whatsoever, so... Um, the, the high quality is there and the, the look is there so it's definitely definitely a really really cool filament if you're printing at the right temperature like I said you want to make sure that you print maybe a little bit higher I don't know if it's just my, my machine or if it's just the way that this filament works but I've in all the testing that I've done with this filament if I don't print at a high temperature this is this is the kind of stuff that happens comes right apart and I can't remember exactly what I printed this one at but it's probably more towards uh, somewhere in between the manufacturer setting which is you know probably I probably did about 215 Celsius and it, you can see it's just falling apart and it just just looks really really bad <laughs> so overall I think this is a, an amazing filament I want to try out some of the other colors that they have they have multiple colors of the HD glass this was just the clear HD glass filament like I said I wanted to see how clear I could get it and I think I accomplished that I love the shine on this stuff it just looks really really epic I could see having that capability of the shininess or the clear in some of my logos that I'm planning on doing. I'll definitely be checking into getting more of this um, HD glass filament because I think it's it's really really cool. As a disclaimer this filament was sent to me um, free of charge. I was not paid for this review in any way. I appreciate all you guys watching. If you'd like to help out my channel further please feel free to click on my Patreon link below. Um, every amount helps me out a lot. Um, don't feel like you ever have to do that. I appreciate everyone that likes, comments, and subscribes to my videos. I love talking to all you guys and I will talk to you guys again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.